Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my signals video for Monday the 9th of April. Our members on in the Wave5 Trade signals membership area get both long and short signals every day. For example, in the long trades, they click on this here and they click on the image and download the spreadsheet that has weekly, daily and 60 minute time frame signals for each day. I've chosen potential long trades on the daily time frame today. I'm going to look at that on one of the charts and set it up. So let's have a look at the chart. I've gone for SRPT, Serapita Therapeutics. So let's have a look at the chart. So I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Ninja Trader version from Wave5Trade.com. Um, it is available for Thinkorswim, TradeStation and Multicharts, but this is the Ninja Trader version. First of all, for those, uh, for those members that have uh, the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, we isolate the, bar, the wave count down here at the bottom with all this correction down here. After this big move down, we find good support. So even if we go this far back, and isolate the wave count here. We can see all this corrective move and then we finally start to move away the wave one, the two, the three and then we've got this big wave four pullback now which is what we're interested in because we're then looking for a fifth wave move. So let's zoom in a little bit here and just go through. So some of the basic filters on the stocks signals membership we filter out the 535 moving average, uh, oscillator here so this oscillator is pulled back between 90 and 140 percent there still could be a little bit more pullback here we do feed, seem to be finding good support but that's one of our filters also we filter the stochastic crossing over in the oversold zone here. This, uh, these yellow dots, the top of our stochastic on the indicator sweep, represent a really strong bullish trend. And the stochastic's pulled back against that, so we will want to return to the main uh, strong bullish trend. Also, the wave falls pull back into our automated probability zones, found support. The green zone is an 85% probability. If it finds support in there, we'll go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones in blue up here, around about 88.36, something like that. So with that in mind, we've got to look for an entry strategy. One thing that we employ on our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite is the 6-4 moving average high, the green here. This is a conservative entry. So we're way, way outside of this for Monday's bar position, but also outside of this range which seems to have formed at the support level there for the wave 4. So what we're after is to make sure that that support level is held and we are starting to move away from that. So we then look for the long entry at 77.09. The stop loss is just below the wave four low there, about 70.48. And then we're looking for a target around about $88, right into our target zone there. And that's a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6. And we usually like to see that as the minimum uh, into the target zone. Sometimes we get 2, 2.5%. Two but in this case, it's around about our minimum, which is good. So everything works out well. We've got the 535 oscillator pulling back. That's part of our indicator suite. We've got the stochastic crossing over in the oversold zone and wanting to return back to the bullish trend. We've got the wave four pulling back into the automated probability zones. And we've got a great risk reward with a conservative entry. So everything stacks up. So we've gone from our membership site with the signals daily. We're using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. This is the Ninja Trader version. Uh, and then we uh, set up the trades and put the orders on. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.